Blend spaces can be a little bit daunting, especially if you're not entirely sure what they are, what they can do, and how to use them. This video is going to be purely informative. I'm going to be using the Unreal Engine to show what they are and their fundamentals, and then later on we'll be making videos uh, that will show how to use them and how you can enhance and, and for instance a locomotion system with them. Let's start together checking blend spaces. My name is Matt and this is technically animation. So what is a blend space? Well, this is an asset that allows you to place animations or poses uh, on a either one-dimensional or two-dimensional graph and blend them together based on inputs. So let's start with uh, the simplest one-dimensional blend space I could, I could find. And this is one that uh, I've created myself a few weeks ago. And that's really, you're gonna understand clearly what a blend space is using that example. So if you remember the definition I just gave, uh, we have uh, this, this, this thing that looks like a graph. Uh, we have one, sorry, one and two animations. And then uh, we have here a parameter or an input. In that case, we're reading the speed of the character. And then uh, when the speed is zero, then my animation uh, plugged for that value zero is an idle and then when the speed is 500 which is the maximum uh, walk speed of your character in um, Unreal uh, projects or presets then my animation my, sorry my character is running now uh, the nice thing with blend spaces in Unreal is that you can uh, preview animations by pressing um, uh, space then as you can see here there's a little green cross um, that's a preview parameter or setting and that will uh, that's that's really nice for you to preview what your blend space looks like and to avoid uh, potential problems so you can either uh, move your mouse first and then click control and then the 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 the, 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 the cross will will uh, be moved where your mouse is or you can hold control and drag your mouse around to do the same thing but just more smoothly so as you can see, um, when my speed is zero, then I'm idle, which makes sense. And then if I range all the way to uh, 500, then I'm running. What happens with blend spaces is that they'll go, they're, they're gonna be covering uh, all the other possibilities in space and God knows there's many, many. Um, and in that specific case, what happens is that if my speed is essentially 250, which is halfway uh, through my maximum speed, then I'm blending the two animations together by a factor of about 50%. Why 50%? Well, I'm be that's because I'm exactly halfway between them, okay? So here I'm using 50% of the idle and 50% of my run animation. Now, if I was to push, um, yeah, so, now we're previewing the uh, the blend space, but then in game, what will happen is that this uh, speed value will be um, would be uh, steered by the left stick of your controller or your keyboard keys. Okay, so uh, for you to understand a little bit better, let's keep a controller in mind, the left stick, analog stick of your controller. Here, you're just pushing it halfway, uh, not to the maximum range, but halfway. And uh, what happens if you're pushing it a little bit further down, um, then you're gonna be accelerating, of course, and this will translate into reading even more of that run animation. So you would be uh, here, as you can see, it's split into four um, segments. Uh, then you will be playing 75% approximately, okay, of your run animation and about 25% of your idle. And uh, it doesn't have to be exact values, of course, if we're somewhere on here, as you can see here, my speed is uh, 288.1 something. Uh, and then that will give me a weight uh, with which I will blend my two animations together. Now, as you can see here, that animation, uh, halfway, so uh, an exact blend of 50% of each, 
is not ideal, right? It looks like um, the character is, it doesn't look like a, like a fast, or sorry, like a slow walk. It looks more like my character would be walking in water, which would be waist high. Uh, this is why in video games, you would usually have more animations in the space to handle more uh, thresholds. So if you had a run, then in here we could have a, an actual walk animation. Maybe in here we would have a jog, and here we would have a, a, a fast, sorry, a slow paced walk, of course. Now let's see another example of a one dimensional blend space. Um, this uh, is an additive blend space. I'm not gonna go into uh, the difference right now. The um, thing that's important to uh, pay attention to right now is that uh, our parameter has changed. It's now a leading angle and that ranges from minus one to one. This blend space is using poses. So when my leaning angle is zero, um, then I'm using that pose, which is actually the first frame of my run cycle. And then if my leaning angle is minus one, that's something I've calculated in a function, uh, then I'm gonna lean to the left. And then um, the opposite, if my leaning angle is one, I'm gonna be leaning towards the right. Now, what Unreal offers as a preview is uh, for blend spaces and especially additive ones is uh, pretty uh, powerful because I can preview um, with either a pose or an animation. So now if I press play, I actually told my blend space to play my run cycle and then I can preview um, uh, the, the operation I'm, I'm adding on top of that blend space using my leaning poses. So here, leaning angle of zero, I'm not leaning. If I go towards uh, minus one, my character would be leaning towards the left. Remember that this is an additive pose that I'm applying on top of a run cycle. It's not a, a brand new walk cycle, a run cycle. And uh, similarly, if I, my leaning angle is about minus one, then uh, my character is gonna be leaning. So you're starting to understand what blend spaces are for. They're here to uh, allow you to blend and have a, a very uh, good control on blending between multiple animations. Here it's one, one dimensional blend space, but we're already using three poses or animations. Um, uh, while well, the previous one was using two. And then we're gonna see right now an example of a two-dimensional blend space, which will be using much more animations, but then you'll understand the concept because it stays the same. All right, so we're here in front of a two-dimensional blend space. As you can see, there's more animation on the space, and there's also two parameters. Um, thus the name, two-dimensional blend space. So on the y-axis here, we still have our speed that ranges from zero to 300. It's slightly lower than before because my character is crouched, so it makes sense. And then on the, the x-axis, um, we have our direction that ranges from minus 180, goes through zero, and then 180. So let's just start with that uh, zero direction um, axis here. Uh, you'll see it's very similar to what we um, um, what we looked at on the very first blend space. So it's it's essentially blending from an idle crouch all the way to a uh, crouch walking forward. And similarly as before, if I go halfway, then my character is 50% blending. I'm sorry, blending 50% of the idle and 50% of the the crouch walking forward. Now. If I were to push my stick all the way uh, down, then my character would be using the, the animation that I plugged here. And then if I was to start turning my left stick, I would then update the direction. And so my blend space would give me, uh, for instance, that diagonal right walking forward. And then if I keep turning, I'm gonna go right, I'm gonna go backward right, and then backwards. And now, as you can see, we have reached the right limit of our blend space, um, but it's made so that it wraps around in space because technically 180 degrees and minus 180 is the exact same angle, right? If you look at a, a circle um, where zero would be pointing forwards, then uh, your left values would be 
uh, minus 45, minus 80, minus 135, minus 180. And then if you keep going, then you'll start in the positive values, minus 80, 135, 1945, and back to zero. So if my uh, cursor is here or here, then I went back to minus 180. As you can see, there's no visual difference in my character, also because I'm using the same animations, of course, walk backward, walk backward. The only difference is that from, from there, if I keep rotating, re uh, remember that we're rotating our left stick clockwise, then I'm now in a diagonal back left, left, and then diagonal front left, and then back to zero. So that rather simple blend space will allow us to blend both the speed and the direction to allow our character to move in all possible directions at all possible speeds in space. Okay, so what I want to do now is to uh, show you uh, what we just covered in the blend space, but while playing in the game. So um, what I did here is that, so I've, I've started my game of course, and now I'm, um, I'm showing you uh, the, this is where I plugged the blend space crouch that we just took a look at. And then what I'm going to do is, uh, is in my, uh, my blend space here, sorry, my um, uh, blueprint, I'm going to go ahead where it says a preview instance. I'm going to uh, click on this and select the only instance running that will have, uh, uh, that will allow me to uh, see the simulation of the graph in real time. So what I want you to pay attention to is can I zoom? Yeah, I'll zoom as much as I can. Um, so I'm I'm running uh, I'm I'm crouching around as you can see, and then I'm using a keyboard now. And so as you can see, depending on direction I'm I'm walking to, uh, you can follow that same uh, green cross as previously, and it will show you exactly where we are in space. So forward, uh, let's. Uh, let's do the clockwise direction as before, uh, forward, right, right, backward, right, backward, backward, left. And as you can see here, how it wraps in space and you don't see that. That's just because the way the direction is calculated is clamped uh, between minus 180 and 180. And then, so sorry, backwards, backward, left, left, back, uh, sorry, forward, left, and then back to forward. And when I stop, as you can see, the, the speed updates down to zero and then the direction as well settles down because when you're not moving, your direction is always zero by convention because you're not going anywhere. So how could it be different? Um, if I was using a controller that would, that would be uh, properly uh, set, then I would be able to show you how that green cross would follow the amount of, uh, uh, of pressure I put on the stick and if my stick was halfway uh, pushed then you would see that uh, the, the cross would be floating around space uh, both in speed and direction so on the x and y axis accordingly. Now that blend spaces no longer have secrets for you I think it might be easier for you to start using them uh, or keep using them, but understand really what uh, what they're made of and, and how they're really working. I always tend to think it's it's better to uh, understand what you're using. Uh, it's just easier and you can start maybe, you know, shifting your, your mind and, and even build uh, on top of what you've already built by understanding a little bit more. Um, I wish you guys the best, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.